name is Mamiki Malapo and I am with My Growth Academy, a place where everybody grows. Today I want to talk to you about networking and personal branding. Online there are so many opportunities to network with like-minded people and to brand yourself so people know who you are. Monitor your online presence at all times to see what people see. You know, sometimes after you've put what you've put out, you don't realize how, what it looks like. So go back online over and over again and monitor your own online presence and be careful in the way that you present yourself. If it means you need to tweak, then you tweak it. Let me just give you an experience about myself. So a few years ago, I put stuff out and it was at a time where emotionally I was not in a good space. It wasn't bad stuff, it really was good stuff, it still is. When I look at it, I realize it's good stuff. But it was stuff that was limited because of my emotional state at the time. So I went back and I looked at it and I thought, wow, this was good, but there was something lacking from it. I can add on to it. Now, if I had left it that way and somebody else comes online and sees that and feels the way that I felt when I looked at it the second time, I may have shot myself in the foot. And a person may say, well, she's okay, but she's a little bit, you know, she leaves a few things that she should have added to it. So monitor your own um, line, your own presence online and make changes if changes are necessary. Personal branding as you go online, look at what your skills are. What is it that you can do well that others cannot do as well as you can? Of course, we know that if you know how to speak, there'll always be other people who know how to speak better. So you find a niche, you improve yourself, you become savvy in what you do and you present yourself. What is your message? Sometimes people go online and there's absolutely no message. They just like being seen. I saw a lady who goes online and one of the things that she does is she deals with skin care, but horrible, horrible skin care because she's got this acne, I don't know what it's called, I forgot the name for it, but it makes your skin so bad that you look like you've got sores on your face. And she has struggled with it, she's been to doctors and she was taking people through her journey of the medication she was taking, but guess what she had done? She had found a way of putting makeup on to where you would never know she had this acute acne on her face. Now that's a good message to send out because there are other people who may be suffering from the same, who don't know how to treat it. And they're following her because she's giving them help. That's one of the things that you need to look at when you go online. Who is your audience? Don't just put stuff out. Find out who's your audience, who is it that I wanna to speak to? And speak to that audience and be effective in speaking to that audience. That is networking and branding yourself. And when you go online, be yourself. Don't be like somebody else, be like you. I once read that a copy is unnecessary because there's always an original. So keep yourself original, don't copy somebody else. I've heard people who speak like somebody else speaks and you can tell, oh, they were listening to so-and-so. Immediately your message is lost simply because people are comparing you to the original. So be yourself. Be sincere when you talk about whatever you're talking about online. Be genuine. People can pick up when you're not genuine. They can pick up when you're fake, when you're making things up. Don't put up a facade. Be genuine. Know that people are watching all the time. Communicate honestly. Honestly, honesty is one of the biggest, biggest things. Remember that we've spoken of in other episodes. And by the way, if you haven't watched, go back and watch those episodes. I'm sure you'll find a lot of good things in them choose the right networks. When you go on social networking, choose the right networks. I cannot go, for instance, into a construction network. I'm not in construction, but somebody else in construction can go to networks that deal with construction and get help. So choose the right ones for you, post regularly, and monitor what you share. If you share it, expect everybody to see it. There's no privacy online. It only takes seconds for something to be posted and shared. So think before you post. I want you to notice something even as you're online. Be a volunteer. If you're a volunteer for something and you share it, it encourages other people. Right now we have been dealing with 
um, the Nelson Mandela Day. And so many other communities are dealing with the same. And we are sparing each other to good works because this community says, oh, this is what we are doing for Nelson Mandela Day. Another one says, this is what you're doing. And then another one says, and people says, wow, they're doing that. I think I want to do something too. I think I want to be involved also. Volunteering and sharing it builds a very good network for you. You find like-minded people, kindred spirits. Learn new skills and you can say, look, I've learned a new skill. This is what I can do. Blogs, people have blogs. If you have a blog, make a point. Don't just go on a blog and talk, 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 talk. Make sure people know what you're talking about. Be thorough with your subject and be consistent. I cannot talk about one thing today and another thing the next day. No, it can't be possible because then people get lost. Am I talking about this today? Talking about that tomorrow? What am I going to talk about the third day? If I talk about the same thing, thread, same thread that goes around what I'm talking about, then people can follow me. It could be a different subject, but it has the same thread with what I spoke about next time. It's a good thing to watch out. Guard your reputation. I've spoken about that in previous episodes. Guard your reputation online. Monitor your activity, keep your information private, and really, really be careful lending technology to other people. Don't just willy-nilly give your technology to somebody else to use. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you and that you will be not only a good citizen, but you can use technology for your own good and for the good of others. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Do something for me before you go away, please. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love for you to do that. And like us on Facebook. I might like you back. I never know. Follow SoundCloud. It is really nice. Follow us on SoundCloud. We are there. We are available for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Until next time, God bless.